Okay, yeah. Uh, my name is Laura Roberts, mm -hmm. and my husband is Eric. We have a 17-month-old Sheldon, um, and we have lived uh, in this neighborhood for about two and a half years. We moved here from Chicago, um, and currently um, my husband is um, completing a fellowship um, in cardiology at St. Luke's Hospital, and I am um, a part-time freelance photographer. Mm -hmm. I do children's portraiture. And um, that's a little bit about us. So what, why, anything else? I mean, why you came to Milwaukee? What attracts you? I mean, this community, what mm -hmm. attracts you here? community okay yeah when we um, decided to move here we knew that we just wanted to be um, close to the lakefront okay. so we knew we were gonna look on the east side um, and we looked in different areas some of them were a little bit more college mm -hmm. students um, than we were hoping for um, and so then um, I think there was a posting for this place on Craigslist and the minute we saw it, we knew that we we wanted to be here just because of the location, and it's just such a, mm -hmm. you know, beautiful place. Mm -hmm. So, um, and and then of course our landlord who showed it to us, we, I feel like we connected with him right away. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. so did you go around very often outside to see like the Villateris or something? Around? We didn't discover Villateris mm -hmm. um, until after we had moved in. Okay. Um, and when we did discover it, I mean, we were blown away by it and just so happy that it was just three houses down. <laughs> um, and now we spend a lot of time there. Um, but at the time, we didn't know. Um, mainly it was, like I said, the lakefront, that there was a park um, right down the road. Um, we didn't know any other families, um, but we had met a couple people, um, some some of the people who lived on the other floors in this house and everyone just seemed really nice um, in this neighborhood. Mm. Um, could you describe what you are enjoying the Villa Terrace? Yeah, um, I mean Villa Ter Terrace is definitely one of our favorite parts about the neighborhood. Um, we're both very in much into music and um, so going there every Sunday morning has kind of become a ritual for us. Um, my son loves it. I started going there when I was pregnant with him, so I like to think that there's kind of a little connection that he has with, with the place. Um, we go over and look at the fountain, and um, we're hoping to get a membership um, so that we can make use of the gardens. Um, but yeah, so we'll go on Sunday mornings, and then um, we haven't ventured too far into the museum just yet, um, just because we don't have the membership, but um, we hope to also do uh, there's some uh, brunch that they do there as well. And we haven't tried that yet, but um, hope to do that sometime soon. Mm -hmm. We know you just have moved here like two and a half years. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that there are any other, I mean, changes around this community, this neighbor? Um, hmm. Or how has your perception of the neighborhood changed over those mm -hmm. years? Yeah. Um, I don't think that too much has changed. We've definitely, you know, over that time period, met more people here, so we feel more connected um, to the neighborhood, I guess, within the past two years. Um, and and the older my son gets, you know, the more things we've become involved in. Um, I'm in a mom's group at Columbia St. Mary's, um, where I've met a ton of other moms from this neighborhood that go there. Um, and then there's the Back Bay Park down there. Um, I feel like every time we're there, we meet somebody new um, from the neighborhood. Um, and then we, we also, we do classes at the um, con Music Conservatory. So that's another one. I don't know if you guys have been to that building too. It's, a, it's an older, um, but that's another, just you know something within the neighborhood um, that we do kind of locally. Um. As a, as a parent, where are the hot spots that all parents gather? You already named a few of them, and, and why, do, why do parents go there? Yeah, um, well, I guess, I mean, 
for one to just get out of the house, <laughs> um, you start feeling crazy, especially in the winter, um, being cooped up inside. But so, and just for, you know, any sort of stimulation for the kids. So, um, Boswell bookstore, we do a lot. Um, we go over to the fountain at the water tower there. Um, there's a park down across from the Altera on the lake. Altera on the lake has some stuff like this Friday, they have music going on there on the lawn. Um, so we'll do stuff like that. Um, Veterans Park, we walk through, um, look at the boats, um, that kind of stuff there. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff on Downer. We just kind of venture around there. We go to the, the bread, the bread smith and get bread samples a lot. Um, there is so much to do really. Um, in this neighborhood and then just even walking down on Prospect. So you really experience the neighborhood by walking through and making these short stops to kind of, as, as kind of, are you trying to teach your son about neighborhood or just kind of like life? Yeah, I mean definitely on the east side here I like that I don't have to drive very many places. Um, and that there is so much we can do um, just walking and um, or just going in the stroller. Um, that'll be a sad part about it, the day that we have to move, you know, from this neighborhood, um, just because there have been so many things that we can introduce to him just right around the corner here. Um, also, could you describe Randy a bit for us? Sure. And who will first introduce or talk about who he is and how he met? Yeah, so, um, <laughs> well, basically, I think it was my husband who um, got in contact with him because of the listing for the place, and we're just renting here, so um, we've been renting from him for two and a half years, and it's been a great situation so far. He is the um, president of the Historic Society, um, and I know, I'm not sure the exact number, but he owns quite a few homes in the neighborhood here. Um, and it just seems that everybody in this neighborhood knows him, <laughs> um, especially people who grew up here um, and, and their families. And he's just a really great guy. Um, he was very welcoming um, when we first came and um, gave us a lot of recommendations for places to eat and places to go. Uh, he still does. Um, and... Um, you know, he had us over for a nice dinner when we first moved in with some of uh, his other um, friends. And um, he's been a really great resource um, for just not only this neighborhood, but also other, you know, things to do in Milwaukee, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we have got a lot of information here. Um like there was something oh within your house there there's this really beautiful entertainment parlor um do you guys um do you use entertain no <laughs> i wish i wish we had more yeah. time to mm -hmm. um with i feel like we did a little bit more entertaining before we had a child <laughs> um so i mean we'll We'll have, you know, friends over for drinks here and there. Um, we don't have a great space set up for doing dinners, really. Um, so, yeah, not too, too much entertaining yet. <laughs> Keyword yet. <laughs> um, what else do you... What are your other impressions of the house? Um, I know that you've got this really beautiful room and then your bedrooms are used to be one room? Or? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how it was um, laid out before it was broken up. I think someone had told me it was maybe sometime in the 40s that they broke up um, the rooms. And so, yeah, I'm not sure. What we really like is, for one, the really high ceilings. Um, and, you know, a lot of the rooms get really nice light. Um, that was kind of a big thing for me. Um, I know that my husband really likes sort of the, the character of the place um, and the charm. Um, but 
Yeah, I wish I did know more, a little bit more about the history of it. Um, I definitely like to imagine people back in the day, you know, living in this home. Um, but I, I'm not sure myself too much more of the history. But you do know that some, uh, one of the past residents did some gardening outside? Could you tell me yeah. more about that? Yeah, uh, there was a gentleman when we moved in, he, he, Stan, he lived um, on the second floor. And he um, lived here for about, I think, about 30 or so years. Um, and he and his wife put in that garden there. And it's just beautiful. I mean, we're really lucky to have it. Um, we do a little bit of the maintaining, um, but I think Randy also has um, a gardener come through every once in a while and, and do more of it. Um, so we're really lucky to have that. Uh, my son loves to just sort of toddle through there and pick the flowers. We're working on not picking the flowers, but... <laughs> um, But yeah, I mean, they were. It was just really carefully planned out, you know. One with the the way things kind of come up and and die, you know. Some some plants are blooming, and then when those are gone, something else comes up. It's really beautiful. Thank you. Um, of course. I think we'll gather just a few minutes of. I have one more question. Where do sure. you this unique place? Oh yeah. Because of sun, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. There is a website called tinyprints.com okay. and you can upload any picture on there. And then they have different, like this one just mm -hmm. has like the spanner with my initials, but they have all different ones. Um, they have like, you know, you can get your name on there somehow. Tiny, tiny prints. Okay. Yeah. And they do like really great, uh, holiday cards and all different kinds of stuff. I just started offering these to my clients too, um, and I just order them from this company and then <laughs> charge my clients more. But <laughs> that's how business. Yeah, works. and it's a good. It's like a quality case too. You know, it's a nice mm -hmm. strong case. But it's from China. It's oh, cute! Like. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Um, so you are? Are you coming here for school? Yeah, or? for okay. UWM. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. And what do you, is this your first time here in the States? No, no. Okay. The third time. Okay, third. Okay. And what about just in Milwaukee? Before, before I, I went to California okay. before and also, what's the name? Uh, Colorado. Okay. Mm. Nice. Seattle. Yeah, mm -hmm. just a few. Okay. And are you liking Milwaukee so far? Yeah. I heard that Milwaukee is a very segregated city, but I didn't feel that much around this neighborhood. Yeah, I know. When we moved here, people told us that too, um, and I haven't noticed it as much as you know people make that out to be. Um, maybe I haven't ventured out into enough neighborhoods <laughs> because, like I said, we haven't.